To all the family, friends, and fans of DA Sports Vibes, we are here with another great player of yesteryear in the sport of football. I know him playing bask and basketball also, you know, uh, ref officiating and stuff like that. And you can see him outside of um, period of fashion fixing his shoes, Mr. Peggy Dover, you know. And uh, I, I bet you didn't know, but he's gonna tell us about his football journey. He's, he played for Dominica, he played for Kensbury, played for Blue Stars. So Mr. Dover, just take us from small, from, from when you first touch a football, and first of all, tell us where you're from, where, where you were born and raised. Well, I born and raised in Fox Street. I born and raised in Fox Street. I started my football game, I started my football in Fox Street, and you speak yourself on the road playing football with great fruit and everything kind of there. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, cricket and everything kind of thing. All sports in Fox Street. Fox Street, all sports place. All right. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and then, um, so you, um, what primary school did you go to? I go to, I go, well, my primary school is Rosomic school, I go to Rosa Girls school and I went to Rosa Boys school. Okay, I heard, I heard another player, great legend, talk about Rosa Girls school and I was kind of, you know, but it yeah. seems like that was, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so did you make the, the, the football, did you play football at Rosa Boys school? Yeah, I played football at Rosa Boys school. Okay, and can you remember any notable players, like a player that made, you know, made it big? Yeah, in that was a man like Pete Troy and his brother. Um, that one or two man I just really cannot think. Okay, no problem. Yeah. And um any any championship, can you remember winning yeah, any yeah, championship at Boys School? Yeah, yeah, we are champion on the sixteen championship. All right. That. And, and the I just cannot remember the team okay. who was what we the either Google School or them things. Okay, play. and 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 your coaching in, in, at the time was who? My my coach was at David Kentish. David Kentish. Yeah. Yes, okay, and then from from primary school, now transit to um, secondary school. No, I never go to secondary school. Okay, um, uh, reason so, being? So, secondary school time, when I supposed to go up in that side there, yeah? it was the overcrow party done and the hurricane come after, so everything I just go up and carry uh, Okay. And after that, I get myself set up and I went to the college. You went to college? Yeah. So your so 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 um so your transition from primary school football playing on the 16. Uh, so then you be, between there and college you must have played in the youth in the youth leagues. And yeah. Stuff. Well, in the college time we from Blue Star in '83. Okay. When you from Blue Star. Oh, so you was you was part of member of Blue Star. member of Blue Star. Yeah. I oh. was one man at Bill. Five of us at Bill Blue Star. Okay. Them the rest of the right. guys. Like Steve Norris, All right. Isaac Andre, Marcus Scotland, Earl White. Leroy Jackson, you know, guys, right. that that's really great history. Build, yeah, that's the guys that build blue stars. Can you tell the people the, 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 the um, what's it call it? The Asam Asam, that is all you... Together, together. Together, together, Asam Asam, yes, I just, yeah. I learned that. All right, so tell us about that now. Tell us about you, you form Blue Stars, mm -hmm. 1983. Yeah. And take us there now, take us from your, why, 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 why was Blue Stars from? Take, take us, tell us the reason why. Well, why Blue Stars from on a whole? It had Kent's bro, and it had Kent's. All right. And it had the Kent's bro intermediate. It had the Kent's bro intermediate. Yes. Kent's is not intermediate. Okay. But it had so much man around this square. Yes, sir. So we decided to run our own show. But all before that, now we saw our little street team. This bro street, they called Bombers. Kennedy Avenue was, um, what I'm saying, it had Pack Stars. So we just come together and we decided to form our football team and make it our blue stars. All right. You know what I mean? okay, and, then and our first year in Blue Stars, now we win everything. We are, we are what, junior, division? what division? Junior. Junior division. We never lose, we never draw. Okay. We go straight and after that, we come to intermediate. Okay, and tell us about and, intermediate. And from intermediate now, I still look over after. Then I leave intermediate. I leave the man and I go to Kenneth Brown. Okay. I leave Blue Stars, I go to Kenneth Brown because Kenneth Brown rack our people. Okay. So and I go to Kenneth Brown. So and Blue Stars had number, um, a number of people? Exactly, I had Isaac, ah, exactly, that's T. Okay. You got in? Okay. And so you went to Kensbro yeah. to, to, to goalkeep? To goalkeep, Okay, yeah. so tell us about your Kensbro team. Well, in my Kensbro time, it was all right, you know, but there's any lot of in frustration, some kind of pressure. So Not really pressure, you know. Okay. But you see, the, the coaching vibe wasn't properly. All right. You got in? We got a same coach now. I make trials on the Kensbro, he's that coach, and that coach was the national coach. 
and the other foreign coach from Trinidad was the Issa. Okay. And he always used to have me up. I mean, that other people there, all man like Chinese coach and people like there. Okay. But the kind of way I used to be showing myself. But the other, how I get these calls when I go to Trinidad, from the national team, Issa was showing me the scene like, um, he had me on, but for the sake of the other uh, coach and manager man vibe, you know what I mean? I come from the low class in the, I ain't got no kind of big surname to okay. say a big surname. Okay. I come from the low class. So in this kind of time now, they're looking for Mr. Challenger and Mr. Schilling Ford. They don't look for Mr. Dover. But Mr. Dover is also what he has. Uh, you know what I mean? So we had a little thing in Kensbro, and why I really leave Kensbro? We had a, we are we are going to um, St. Thomas and we had a fundraising donation sheet on them too. Yeah. And I was looking in St. Thomas playing basketball at that same time. I was looking in St. Thomas and Mr. Keller. And, and I had to bring in money. I bring in how much? I bring in money. I bring in my form, all my money. That players that do bring in money, like Davidson, better not have young and some of them man that do bring in money. And the night of picking a team to go St. Thomas, I wasn't on the team. So when they go to St. Thomas, when they come back, the Friday they have to play against J.D. Rocks for knockout trophy. Right? I take my girls from my home in Cockshit and I go to work to come down to play. But when I really check in, like, it don't make any sense. What I go for and how I had Ken's bro at the time, because everybody was talking about Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. When you have a Ken's run, all them, you have them so far, they just talk about Peggy. They make it the hardest shot in Minnesota, the hardest shot in Minnesota, the hardest shot now them, Ruminus. Ruminus, Trumbo. Emmanuel, Trumbo. Yes. I really feel it, I really feel it short because I, I, I play basketball, I know how to bring back the ball to the body. But that one day I couldn't bring it back. I just say, keeper, I long coffee run across and he, you know what I mean? And he put me up, so I had to let the ball hit, my chest, hit me in my stomach <laughs> there. So I, I, I feel the hardest shot I can win so back okay. in football. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. But. He so, said that so, after so, I leave Kent Row, when I, okay. So you didn't show up for that, for that I, important knockout championship game? You didn't show up? No, I didn't show up. And your reason you said? I didn't show up. The reason why I don't show up, because how they treat me on that tour there. All of us had our visa and I had the keeper and they had to have somebody else in the goal. I was in the goalkeeper and they only dropped me. Okay. But I said I let them feel some pain. Okay. So I come down from Central Roma, I step in grammar school and I did Prambo entry and I stay watching the game. I, all everybody ball in the way Peggy. What, what was the result of that game? The result of that game blues um Jerry Rugby and Pre one. Oh, yeah. you know I mean? As soon yeah. after the game finished, I come down through the Windsor Park. You know what I mean? For all that time now they had all kind of rumors spreading about me. Okay. About that. All right, you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, yeah. so um what so did you win any championship of Kensbro? Yeah, I win championship of Kensbro. Okay. Yeah. And then so now tell us take us now to national team. You made a national team. Yeah. Okay, so um, at what point did you get well, called up? Before, before, before the national, before the national team vibes, I go to Baba State. You went to play for Baba State? Yeah, I live Kensbro. Okay. I go to play for Baba, Baba State. Yes. And we had win the first division trophy. Okay. From Baba State now. Why is in Baba State? I end up making trials. You know what I mean? oh, so you made trial they tell you they, when you get your first call up it was with playing with Baba right, State. when I make my first national team. It when I make the national team. Uh -huh. Yeah. Baba State. But you got called up before that? I get called up before when that. Trials. Kens, bro. Yeah, trials. trials. But, but you did I not make the national, team, make national team. Yeah. Okay, but when you want to play for Baba State, you made it. I make national team. Okay. And, so and after that after so take us, take us on the national your national team journey. So you made a national team. Mm -hmm. You do you you, you can remember the year exactly? No, I can remember the year but the, that it was is, that was in nineties. Oh, nineties. I think somewhere. I think somewhere around them kind okay. of time there. Can you can you can you remember? Can you give us a few names of players on that team? On the national team. Yeah, when you made it. Okay, so um, could you call some names on that that great national team you made when you made that team? Well, that team was one of the greatest in the league ever seen. And my boys on there, Michael George, Kenneth Emmanuel. Um, Shane Marshall, Ronnie Foster, Kent Martin, Kent Elwin, Martin, yeah, Kent Elwin, Cripple Lily Ramington, Jeremy Power, Kurt White. Wow, wow, wow. And them fellas there. That's a great team. You know what I mean? Pampo from Newtown. Leroy Pinard. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so what, what tournament did you all participate in? That was, that was Shell. Shell Caribbean Cup. Shell Caribbean Cup. Okay, so tell us, give us a little bit about that Shell Caribbean Cup or yeah. the first game. Where, well, where our did... first game in that Shell thing that was in St. Kitts. Okay. And our first game was against Monstra. Okay. Oh. Okay. We defeat Monstra. Okay. We come down to Antigua. Okay. We defeat Antigua and the most time people talking about the keeper and the Rasta. The Rasta was Hulka. Okay. The guy yes, means they are talking about they don't know where that keeper come out. Because in my time, my, my basketball time, I used to be holding the ball with one hand. Okay. I used to dive, I was diving and holding the ball with one hand. Right. You know what I mean? All after when you play against Monstra in the tongue. Look the goalkeeper, because uh, now come out St. Kitts for basketball. Oh. And so I return back in, in St. Kitts now, they start, the, my boys and them are playing basketball, tell me about They get what you do there for again. So I tell him it's football, and I tell him I'm going to pong all you. So you made the... You made the national basketball team? No, no, that was the um, oh. champion of champions. Champion, champion. Champion, champion, champion. And you, play for, you play for what club in basketball? The Eagles. Eagles, okay. Yeah. So you went on to St. Kitts with the Eagles Yeah. No, the, no, 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 no. When you go St. Kitts, the second time for, when I come to the football, the, yeah. it was Jackie Killer Bees. Oh, Killer Bees, Yeah, yes. Killer Bees. But we had Eagles. We just had good already several times, but right. the, time of, the last time with, with the national team, before I go, go with the football team. Yes. I'd go Killer Jackie Killer Bees. All right. Champion so, champion. No, so, so, so now you, 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 you say that you all went to St. Kitts, play Monstrat, beat Monstrat. Yeah. And then Antigua. next, Antigua. And the other night. All right. St. Kitts. St. Kitts national team. Okay, all a bit St. Kitts yeah. as well. Yeah. Murder all them fellas, man. So that was a it great stint. It wasn't easy. So how far did you all reach in that? Well, after that now, we had to be qualified to Trinidad. All right. And that was the first time Dominica ever qualified in, in a shell thing. We make a second round. All right. You know so what I mean? Tell us about that. So that time now it was, it was Peggy. It was the last one at the back there, and it, he did us feeling the pain. You know what I mean? Tell us about he, that. He did us feeling the pain because nothing could know stop that man. All right. Because people used to talk about him. Me used to tell me about I used to fly checking like a white suit that thing, but people tell me how great I was and what and what. Okay, so take but us. But we just really sick of that kind of thing. Okay, you have to, we go to Trinidad and yes. Trinidad vibes. Well, they're kind of different vibes. Right. Because Trinidad, the kind of team we meet in, the kind of team we meet in Trinidad is them um, players. Trinidad team are players in World Cup business. The Jamaica team are in World Cup business. Okay, so that's professional. A lot of professional, professional players. players. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Yeah. And the, but I was still showing myself. All right. I really get one of the little hot things, you know, but I was showing myself. All right. The old players. All right. But, okay, uh, so now, in, uh, so, so tell us now, like, any memorable moment in the national team that you can recall, you know, you know that it sticks in your mind, you, in your stint in the national team, a game, you know, a tournament that sticks to your mind? Well, that, that, that wrong there, that one there, what I talk about, the same kids and training out there, I could never forget them then. Okay. I could never forget them then. Okay. Yeah. That was the time. Yeah. Okay. And, um, okay, and we're going back to the National League. Mm -hmm. uh, as a keeper, mm -hmm. are there any strikers that you had on your mind when you come to play that you think of when you come to play like you know you you, you know you're gonna get your your challenge any strikers come to your mind well i will say the two tough team in the pack was ken run all right you know what i mean and as a keeper as a last man at the, at the back so i position in my my boys at them even man running on gas i say cover that man there but I, my eyes always should be on the ball and position myself I wasn't afraid of no kind of money shot. Okay. Because I know how to defend that ball from good inside. If you think good inside, good inside. You'd have to score it score. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I will do something. But we had some prolific strikers back then. So yeah, there, must have been, there must have been one or two that would be on your mind the night before the game that hey, we're gonna play that. No, we're gonna uh, well, we're gonna lock them in us. Okay. Lock them in us. You know I mean? Michael okay. Jordan is gonna lock Michael Jordan on that side. Oh, yeah. So these are the names there. Yeah. You know I mean? Close on Peter Green because Peter Green was the, 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 the the ball handle a certain time. Okay. The playmaker. Yeah. Easy touch, easy pass, and them thing there. And what am I? Michael was the dribbler. The winners was the one to take a shot. Okay. So them guys, I used to really study them guys. Okay. I used to study them guys all before the game, all the night before. I used to study them guys and watch the movements. All right. All them guys. So so now, let's let's go a little from football. Let's take a little story of basketball. Let's give us a little basketball history. Like you know, your your team, your first team you played for in basketball. When my first team I played for in basketball, it was um, Flames, Flames Intermediate. All right. And after that, I, from Flames, we come to um, 
JK Eagles. Okay, and in Flames, give us like oh, one or two names of guys, right. great guys. Tony Manuel, Esky Winston, All right. them kind of guys are Jerry. Okay. Okay. I mean, Any gonna... championship in Flames? Yeah, man, I will, after all. Okay. Like yeah. basketball. But you win a lot of championships? I was not a loser, man. All right, and then from Flames, you move to what to team next? JK Eagles. JK Eagles, and any championships there? Yeah. Well, you got too much, man. Try to give all your rings like tower. Yeah, but more rings than, than, than Obi and Ebola, Kobe and Ebola. Yeah. All right. So, so give us, like, you know, give us a memorable moment in basketball now, you know? In, in, that, in that Windsor Park there, you oh, know, with that fight. That was fun and that was love. Yeah. That was love. Okay. There was basketball time before. It was love and we could see one another together. It's not like now we are violent, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not in them kind of time like before. So, 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 um, can you, like, just take us through say a, a memorable game you played like you can remember like 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 it's today that you 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 know it's an exciting game give us a little, a little synopsis now well boy that's some of the exciting games yeah give us one well all against like pros all right they're cardinals when you have eagles and and cardinal eagles and hoyers you know what i mean now them kind of top team all right you know what i mean okay yeah. and, and and any um can you give us any like like people that inspired you to, to, to see for instance in basketball, who inspired you to play basketball and then football? Well, in my basketball time, it was Pan Sobedo, you know. Alright. Yeah, Pan Sobedo was my boy on plastic, blah blah. Alright. I remember mean, that man said, me keep hold it up and them kind of thing. They were plastic, man, but the French, you know, see me. Okay. But the French was, was the one who used to be showing me how to pivot, to show me, and also Pan Sobedo showed me how to pivot, how to guard the ball and them things there. Alright. What about football? Who inspired you to play football? Boy, football. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I take it on my own, me, and I already take it serious. But I still, I still get advice from man. Okay, but who? who uh, so for, from you started playing football, it was always goalkeeping. You never play other position. No, I play all, I play all position. I can play all position. Okay, but I you, play. but you, but you love goalkeeping. Goalkeeping. All right. So uh, what, we, what we would like you to do now is if you, you know, because right now in Dominica we have a uh, lack of goalkeepers. Mm -hmm. So because most of the players they, they, they prefer to strike and score goals. Mm -hmm. So we'd really like if you could. Tell them, you know, the, the, the importance of goalkeeping, and to you know, give them a little motivation and inspiration to for them to, to to get interested in goalkeeping. Well, that goalkeeping thing has to be a very serious thing, and once you're in that, you have to take it serious. You know what I mean? Because my last game I played against the Peter runs in the park there, and it wasn't easy. Yes, and sir. You remember that time, right? Yeah, man, for sure. And you could see Peggy. You see, bring back like in the national team. Of course, of course. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, and um, uh, so. You know, so what made you love to goalkeep? Because I would like, you would like to let them know, like, the, what gave you that love to want to goalkeep? Well, you see, again, um, what I read me, let me. I love all position in basketball. I play all position. I think I play all position in football. I play all position. But in the goalkeeping vibe, it was a kind of lack of that kind of thing. Okay, so it was because yeah. of a lack of goalkeepers yeah. that you decided to take, a, to take it on. I think I did take that. I think ah. I did take that part serious. Okay, very good. I think I did take that part serious. Okay. Because we didn't have much goalkeepers in in the central for that. Okay, so yeah. before we and then just finally, just um, give a little word of of, of um, encouragement and you know a little word of inspiration to the young aspiring players out there. You know, in terms of how we can get our our sports, our football, our basketball back. To, uh, you know, to a level of how it used to be, what they need to do in terms of, you know, developing themselves. Well, you see, right now, it's not like before, you'll talk to a youth man and he'll tell you, yes, he's coming. Now, this is, when you talk to them, they tell you, yes, he coming, but they're showing up. You can only get a session. They want to come, when they come, unless they don't do their whistle, now they put on the boots, and that's a very bad thing. Before they coach, Blow the rest of your bushes to be on, and that's how it was before. And you have to try to let them youth man and them and coach them. Let them man know about anything. Because that's serious thing. Right now, we have money flowing in them spots. And in our time, we don't need to have We still have our own boots, but our own boots. You know what I mean? So right now, they're getting everything. I travel in the national team, all men have different color clothes. But right now, everybody traveling, if I warm up, don't make a uniform on them. You understand know I me? Mean? So it's more, it's more serious, right? So there's a lot more opportunities. Yeah. So, so a man want to take out of you, but no forget it is of before. So we'd like yeah. to really uh, we appreciate you taking the time off, you know, your, your, your busy schedule to come and have this interview with us. We will appreciate it. And we hope that the young players out there will view this and it will inspire them to want to goalkeep because we need some goalkeepers in Dominica. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, bless you. All right. Somebody say
say, 